Hey everyone, I'm Melanie from Streamline Legal, where we help law firms get the most out of their practice management software. I am super excited today to be sharing this uh, technique with you. Um, it's no secret that I am not a fan of spreadsheets. Uh, I think they're fantastic for keeping a large sum of data, but I think that they can be bulky and difficult to use. And so oftentimes I will prefer housing that data in a practice management software like Clio. And so what I'm going to show you tonight is if you have data in a, in a spreadsheet, like for example, if I'm tracking the um, case value, the value of all my cases, or if I'm tracking who I want to include in a newsletter or something like that, then that's information that I can quickly upload into Clio and save that information there so that other people have access to it. It's uh, easier to see, it's easier to manipulate, and we can always use that data and start collecting it for future cases as well. So if you have a spreadsheet where you're keeping some type of data on your cases, this is a great video to watch and um, learn how to put that information into Clio. So I'm going to take, we're going to dive right in. I'm going to take you over to my Clio screen here. And the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pull up the written instructions for this so that we can follow them very carefully. Um, they can be found in Clio's help section. The article is called how do I bulk import matter custom fields into Clio? So essentially what we're doing is for whatever data we're trying to, to capture, we're going to create a custom field for it. But of course, it would take forever to go through each case and enter in the case, if we're using case value as an example, it would take forever to enter in each case, you know, go to each matter, enter in that case value, go to the next matter, enter in that case value, go to the next matter. You know, if you have the, any volume of matters, that's going to take a long time. And so this is a much easier way to bulk upload all that information. And so once you find this page, it will give you very detailed written instructions and it even has some tips right here about which custom fields work better, how you need to set them up, stuff like that. But, but I'm going to go through it with you um, and I'm going to talk through this procedure with you right here so you can see how easy it really is. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Clio account and I'm going to click on the Matters tab here. And I'm going to go ahead and export all of my matters. And you can do that at the bottom of the screen here. And the reason I do that is because I want a list of all my different cases because that's what I'm going to start attaching that in the um, case value information to. So I'm going to click on Export. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up that um, resulting spreadsheet that it sends over to me. And unfortunately, um, it doesn't look like you guys can see that spreadsheet, but basically what it's going to give me is an Excel spreadsheet with um, one column with all my case numbers. It's going to call, it's going to be called display number. And so what I want to do is I want to copy and paste that column of case numbers right into the template that Clio gives you on this help page. So you'll see right here, if we open up this template, then it's going to give you a template and you can copy and paste out of the case, the matter export. You can copy that display number column and paste it right into that template that they give you. And then once the, um, once the case numbers are in there, all you have to do is create a second column and name it the exact name of the custom field you're going to use. So for example, in this case, I'm going to use a custom field and it's called case value. So if we look at my custom fields, I have one down here called case value. I'm going to copy and paste it right into my spreadsheet as the header for the second column in that spreadsheet. And the reason I copy and paste it is because it's very particular. You can't have extra spaces or you know any different kind of formatting or it won't recognize it as the same field. So I'm going to copy and paste it as the second column in my spreadsheet and I'm going to start entering in all my case values. Maybe I already have this information saved somewhere else. Maybe I have somebody researching it and looking through my files and trying to find it, but I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. So in my spreadsheet, all I'm going to have is one column with all of the case numbers, which Clio will call um, display number, 
uh, in that export that you took from your matters. I'm going to copy and paste that as the first column into my template, and the second column is going to be all the different case values or all the different information that you're trying to add in there. And again, all you have to do is copy the name of the field, put it as the header for the second column, and that's it. That's your spreadsheet. You've got one row with the case numbers, and you've got one row with the actual case values, and you can fill them all in. Once I have that spreadsheet with just those two things, and I'm going to come back to my Clio account, and I'm going to go to, you'll see the uh, address up here is app.clio.com, and I'm going to put in here slash imports. And once I do that, it will bring me to this import page where I can start importing information. And I can click right here on add, and I can tell Clio that I want to add notes from a CSV file. And that's exactly what I've saved my spreadsheet as, as is a CSV file. So I'll go ahead and find that file. And it happens to be right here. So I will put that file in here and I'll click upload file. And it doesn't take very long depending on how much information or how big the spreadsheet is. But you'll see here it was queued up for a minute and now it's complete. Okay, so it's imported all of that information. And so if I come in here, I can see that it's absolutely done. And I can double check that by going over to my matters. And maybe I'll pick one of these matters and look in this matter and see that the custom field is right here. Case value, $10,000. Okay. So it worked obviously on this case, but let's say we want to check all of our cases or better yet, we want to see a visual representation of that spreadsheet. We want to see all of our different cases with all of the case values next to it. So then what I can do is I can take this screen, my matter list, and I can go ahead and click on columns and find that case value column if it's not already there. And I can click on it to add it to this screen Maybe I don't care about seeing all this other stuff. And I can update my screen, and here it is right across the screen, the case value for every single case that I just uploaded into Clio. So again, it's a very simple process. It's just a matter of knowing what information you want to store in Clio and how you're going to get it in there. So again, do check out this article into Clio's help section called How Do I Bulk Import Matter Custom Fields into Clio so that you can do it all at once and not have to go matter by matter. And let me know what information you're storing in Clio. Let me know if there's something that you think would be very helpful to store in your matters. And um, I'd love to hear if you were able to bulk import that or if you'd like some help with that, give us a call. And um, I think it'll make it a lot easier than those spreadsheets that I've been using. Thanks so much for joining me tonight and have a great evening.